All right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shad, Ba'asham, Rakhah, Kodash. Yahweh be the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world even know is God, Jehovah, and Yahweh. Yahweh Shad is the name of His only begotten Son, our King, Lord, and Savior, whom the world even know as Jesus Christ. Ba'asham, Rakhah, Kodash is in the name of the Holy Spirit. The inspiration given to us to edify those who are given the ears to hear. A double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and the bishops, the great millstone, peace, salutations to the hope of the leg, and shalom to the believers that subscribe to this true, wholehearted, and spirit of power of your heart. I see y'all shot. Your gym man's gift is camp. I got with me. I'm like, man. All right, I'm a brother, Tyler Moff, coming back at you with another lunchtime live lesson. Well, it was supposed to be live, but YouTube tripping. Uh, we tried to go live like three times and kept kicking us out. So we just gonna record the topic, right? Still the same uh, as it uh, as it was intended, you know, in the live. Uh, uh, why does Isaiah 45 and 7 say God creates evil if He's all good, right? Because that's what the mantra of the Christian community is that all the time God is good and God is good all the time, all right? And they have no understanding of the judgment of the Heavenly Father as all things are two and two. You get that in the scriptures. He, uh, he balances uh, his judgment, all right, in the earth by ultimately uh, authorizing good times authorizing bad times and that's what evil means all right evil means bad times all right now there's no power on the earth in the earth in the heavens that can do anything unless the heavenly father authorizes it all right and uh some evil he allows right it still is authority and some evil he uh executes you know because just because something evil doesn't mean it's wicked all right if someone shot your child your son your daughter down in the street cold blood uh, coming to your defense and you went to court as a witness and the judge gave the perpetrator 25 to life or the death penalty or whatever Right, that judgment that fell on the person that killed your son or daughter, that's evil. Let's say that person go to go to jail for 25 life. He go there, he get raped, he get thrown in the in the in the, in the, in the hole. He he uh you know develops all type of diseases. Well, guess what? That was a righteous judgment, though it was an evil time for that criminal. That was a righteous judgment, and that's what the Lord does, all right? He does justice, okay? He doesn't do wickedness, but he does bring forth evil to balance out an evil work, okay? He, he, he brings, uh, the, the scriptures say, you reap what you sow, right? Be not mocked. Uh, maybe it said, uh, the Lord is not mocked, so like God is not mocked. The death that a man so, sow, he shall also reap. Right, so we're gonna get that. Uh, is that Sirach 30? Yeah, Sirach 30. Uh, this is Sirach 33 and 14. Good is sent against evil, and life against bell. Though it's the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. One against another. Everything is set up two against two, right? And uh, we want to go to Isaiah 45 and 7, right, to get into the topic. And I also got an article that kind of goes into it. Uh, the brother going to read it, but we're going to get Isaiah 45 and 7 in a couple of translations. And then, uh, matter of fact, get it in uh, the uh, KJV and uh, the AMP for me and whatever other translation we're going to get as well. Uh, it's Isaiah 45 and 7, the King James. It said, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, how do all these things? Right. The Lord does all these things, man. You 
No. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, start at five. Jump back up to five and read it through again in the case that means. All right. Isaiah 45 and uh, five. It say, um, I am the Lord and there's, there's none else. Mm -hmm. There's no God beside me. Mm -hmm. I guarded thee, though thou hast not known me. Mm -hmm. well, because people will question the judgment and, and in the article that we're going to bring out, it's actually a question. That's where this lesson comes from. It's a question that uh, is inquiring about the Lord uh, judgment as it is written uh, through the prophet Isaiah. Okay. Uh, where we just read it say God creates evil. So, uh, you know, why does he create evil? Okay. Ultimately, <laughs> he answered it before, right? That's why I told him to go back up before we even got to it. He said, I'm the Lord. There's none else beside me. Okay? So you can question the Lord, you know, <laughs> but the only thing uh, that you need to do is just submit because he's just, and, and, it's, and it's him that was was there before anything ever existed. Nobody, like the scriptures say, who, who gave him counsel? Yeah. Well, it's your thoughts and not his thoughts. You know? Yep. And that's why uh, people err, all right, because they don't have the mind of the Most High. It's like we had uh, a whole bottle of Jake come up to camp last week, and he was saying, uh, we all got God's spirit in us. No, everybody's spirit belongs to the Most High. But everybody doesn't have most the most high uh, judgment. His his spirit in uh, righteousness is not dwelling in everybody. Okay. Go ahead. Isaiah forty five and six. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there that there is none beside me. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your Howard, and there is none else. So from the east to the west, there's the Lord of God beside. It's only Yahweh by so much time, you know. Verse 7. Isaiah 45 and 7. I am, so like, it's like, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. What is that in uh, Deuteronomy where he says, uh, I kill. Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 39. Yeah, 39. Okay. I got it. I was there. I was just looking for the verse. It's Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So whether you like it or not, you're still in the Lord's hand. Okay? But if the Lord has given you spirit the holy spirit to understand his judgment all right you are able your eyes are opened up and you are able to cope with the justice that the lord brings in the earth the way that he does it but at the end of the day all those that don't when he sends his son to execute judgment would say every every uh, knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess all right and say those my enemies that would not have me Reign over them, bring hither. hither and slay them before me. All right, it says, and we shall all give an account. All right, for the things that are done in our body, whether they be good or whether they be bad. Okay, so certain things are set up just like uh, the Lord sent death angels to Egypt to kill all the firstborn, but that was what. Uh, that was an evil work, but it was justice. It was evil, but it was justice. The Lord set King David up, right, to slay Goliath. He killed Goliath with a slingshot and a stone, and then he chopped his head off. That was an evil work against uh, Goliath and the Philistines. But guess what? It was righteous judgment from the Lord. I got a precept. Go ahead. This is Lamentations chapter 3 and 38. Out of the mouth of the Most High proceeded not even good. That's a question. Mm -hmm. And O.T., does not the Most High send both calamity and good? 
And I, I just read Isaiah 45 and 7. The Lord created all of these things. So the answer to that is yes. He said calamity, he said in bad times, it's in good times. You know, should I be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? You know? So uh, we get the article. You read it in another translation? Oh, yeah, that's right. So we can come back to it. Right. Go ahead. Read the photo of the art. We can come back to it. I think the AOP. We can go to the art. All right. So this is an article, gotquestions.org. Yeah, gotquestions.org. Yep. Yeah. It said, why does Isaiah 45 to 7 say that God created evil? He said, right there. And everything God created. Start right there. Right there. I want to say, yeah, start right there. Yeah, go ahead. So, this article got Christians, the whole. It's, um, it's the only true power. I'm going to read it. Right. It's, a, it's the only true God and creator of all life. His authority and decisions cannot truly be challenged. Hmm. See? His, his, his authority can't be challenged. So, same name challenging the Lord's authority. He's on point with the Lord's command. Right? Nobody, uh, the scriptures say in Daniel 4 and 35, all the inhabitants of the earth are repugnant against nothing. Alright? Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to jump there real quick. Yup, yep, this is the book of uh, Daniel chapter 4. And 35, and it reads, And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and he doth according to his will in the army of heaven, and in among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? <laughs> Can't question his authority. All you can do is submit to it. He is the most high. So whether you want to or not, you're powerless when it comes to uh, the Lord's authority. You have, there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I say in Romans uh, 13 and 1. Now people, obviously, you know, Babylon creates that do as thy will spirit and, you know, um, that Kanye ideology, I am a God. Well, you are a God, but you're not the, right, I am, which that's his first person, right? You're not, he is, okay? But at the end of the day, like, he's a, uh, the scriptures say he's a power that hides himself. He's merciful. The Lord don't just go around flexing on everybody just because he got the power. No. He's a just power. You know, he could put everybody in their place. Like anybody that uttered another name of another God. Anybody that ever said, you know, like the nigga Mitch on, uh, uh, Mitch on, uh, Paid and Full. Anybody owes me money. Yeah, Looked at me wrong. <laughs> But the Lord said, Lord's long-suffering. He's long-suffering. That's what it is. He's going to get you if it's just, you know, long-suffering. Oh, yeah, he's going to get you. Yeah. And they say also from this article, why does, this is the question, why does Isaiah 45 and 7 say that God created evil? So, as I just read, it's the only true power, it's the only true God and creator of all life. His authority and decisions cannot truly be challenged. Reads. If everything God created was good, they got a Bible verse. Right, right, right. You know, it's okay. We just we ain't gonna, uh, we ain't gotta get the verses in this because we we probably quoted some of them. Yeah, yeah. So it's a let me read this. It's um yeah. It says it says it, it is in this 
This second sense that Isaiah speak and his meaning is reflected in most modern Bible translation of Isaiah 45 and 7. I make success and create disaster. <laughs> I, yeah, because they try to, they try to, uh, uh, like, it's called uh, euphemism. Like, they try to make it uh, more acceptable uh, by using words with, uh, you know, friendlier connotations, so to speak. You see? Yeah. You got it? Yep. Then they say, in the ESP, I, I, I make well-being and create calamity. The NLT, I said good times and bad times. Right, so no matter how you slice it, calamity is, when you go to the word calamity, the, the synonym for calamity is, when you read the synonyms for calamity, it's evil, it's still evil. But what people don't understand is that everything that's evil is not wicked. Every time, it's just because there's uh, bad times happening, right? Because uh, that's what evil means. Doesn't mean it's happening to further wickedness. Bad, the Lord brings bad times to establish righteousness. He doesn't do wickedness, but he does bring forth evil. Yeah, like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. A good judgment in our eyes, right? Right. Or evil to them. Yeah. To establish righteousness, not to be um, a, a ditty. Yeah. You know, a mole, you know. <laughs> yeah, because sodomy is a sodomy is an act of evil, and it's wicked. Yeah, you know, adultery, adultery. You know, that's evil. It brings forth bad times, and, 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 and it's wicked. Okay. Yeah. And then it says, "Is ruler of the universe, God sometimes create calamity to accomplish His will. <laughs> he brought disaster to discipline His people." When they turn their backs on him and refuse to repent. Right, the scriptures say uh around here, Daniel nine and twelve. Uh I'm gonna start at eleven. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured is, is poured upon us. By the curse. You can read the curses Deuteronomy twenty eight and starting at fifteen. Mm -hmm. So the curse is poured upon us to the day. Slavery, mm -hmm. right? And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. Mm -hmm. And he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. A great calamity. Yeah. But under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So with all the evil and calamity, however you want to slice it, right? However, word which word sounds more uh PC for you. He hadn't done anything as bad as what he's done to his own people, right? Yeah. So he hadn't punished anybody at this point anyway. <laughs> because that he because because remember. We'll get that too. Uh, who his wrath is reserved for. Alright? But it said that judgment must start with who? With his own people, with Israel, with the house of God. So at this current moment, no calamity, atrocity, persecution uh, has happened on a larger scale to any other people like it has happened to Yasharala, the so called Negro, Latino, Native American, scattered abroad. Right. Go ahead. Um, you want to keep going there? Yeah, did, did you stop where I asked you to? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, jump to this, uh, jump to this paragraph right here. Yep. All right. yep, yep, yep. That's, that's the last one. Yep. All right. It said, uh, God's sovereign rule over all things, good and bad, over success and calamity for his people, Israel. 
is cause for hope in the lives of believers today. We can trust and know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God. All right, that's what the scriptures say. All things work together for the good. Overall, the evil that the Lord creates, the evil that the Lord brings, the evil that the Lord authorizes is a part of his grand scheme for justice in the earth. Yeah. Right? That's why he does it. Okay? Go ahead. It said, we can trust and know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Right. Just like an example, which we understand who Solomon was in the spirit when those two women were fighting over whose baby it was. Oh, and yeah, the one yeah, woman yeah. was lying, saying that the baby was hers and she had laid on top of her baby and killed her baby. So she wanted to take the other woman's baby. So Solomon way he handled that conflict was what he presented an evil judgment all right he said well how about we take this sword and slice the baby in half and you take one half and you take one half yeah. and then righteousness prevailed in the woman who was like well just let her have it right because the woman who was being deceitful said cool yeah slice the baby in half then but Solomon knew that no mother would ever want to see her child dead, okay, versus having the baby alive and being like away from being away from the baby and having the baby alive was 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 more uh, appeasing, was more satisfying than to see the baby dead. And any real mother would would uh, concur with that same judgment, okay. That was the evil. Right there. That was the evil. Right there. Yeah, the That's judging all throughout the scriptures. Happy shall you be to take that little one and dash his head against the stone. Oh, the Lord loved the judgment. Come the on, Lord man. The Lord known by the judgment which he executed. Come man. on, man. Y'all got to realize the Lord is all about judgment. The judgment is going to a uh, wise, going to, going to wisdom. You know, being wise, man. Yeah. You know. I'm finished. It said, uh, God, That's why these kids today are, are, are so rebellious monsters because ultimately they're not upholding the judgment of the Lord. Yeah, like uh matter of fact jump there Hosea four and one. Right? Well wow. also that happened with the law of slap. Yep. This Hosea four and one in the word of the Lord you children of Israel for the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the most high in the land. The verse 2 said, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch the blood. Yep. The murder after murder. Yep. You know? And that's the point. There's no, the Lord has a controversy with the heavens of the earth because they don't understand his judgment. They don't know what the truth is. The Lord says, spirit of God spoiled the child. So going back to my point, my previous point, that's why these, these kids in this generation of kids today are so rebellious right and monsters because now this society shuns uh applying the rod of correction right because guess what <laughs> that's a bad time for a child when you whoop his ass again evil means bad time that's that's a bad time for a child when you whoop his ass but that bad time is ultimately what makes that child uh grow upright you yeah. know it, it bring it, it it keeps him in the long run from destroying himself uh -huh. okay and that's how the heavenly father operates man look i said it's time and time again art imitates life man man uh, can, can, can i get this up go ahead this, this is uh hebrews 12 and uh nine i'm gonna read this in the nlt hebrews 12, 12 and 9 since we respect our earthly fathers who discipline us Shall we submit even more to the dis shall, shall we submit even more to the discipline of the father of our spirits and live forever? Mm -hmm. You know, they chastised us, you take the trash out, they gave us a whooping, mm -hmm. made bad grades at school, they gave us a whooping. Yeah, right? Took took privileges from us, took uh comforts, particular comforts from us. Um, right. So the Lord again, our imitates life, right? What's going on is an imitation of the Most High and how 
he operates his judgment. That's why, uh, like, you see when you have the eyes and you hear when you have the ears, all right, these different situations that go on that reflect the judgment of the Most High, okay. right? But you have to read the Bible. Most of the people who don't understand this or say, uh, blessed is he that read it, because they don't read, you know? They don't read, because even in this article, which is probably from uh, a learned Christian perspective, some Christians are on a higher level than others, right? A lot of, especially like so-called uh, uh, white man uh, uh, Christians, like Edomite scholars, you know, these uh, down south uh, hardy houses, man, they don't, they don't know nothing, man. They don't know nothing, it's because they don't read. No. What do you say? He's from within. Or where you find it? Within me. What I find, Lord, within me. No. No. You find the Lord say, search the scriptures for him. Let me think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Yep. Go ahead. Come on, For they barely fulfill they chasten us after their own pleasure. But he for our prophet that we may be partakers of his holiness. So they said, for our, for our earthly fathers, this for us for a few years, doing the best they knew how. But God's discipline is always good for us, so that we may share in holiness. 11. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. I see. It is painful, but afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. That's it. That's it. So it, it working to get the, the, the evil time that the Lord creates and the evil time that the Lord authorizes is ultimately for a time of, of, of justice and peace to be established forever. That's the end game, yeah. right? Uh, which I was quoting, uh, uh, it's a quote, like an idiom, if you uh, if you want peace, prepare for war. War is evil. I was just gonna say that, I was just gonna say that, you know. What, what is the old call back to the Middle East time? He make a second coming. And, and righteousness, he the judge, and make, make war. war. He said, I would not meet this and man. He come up with full power to make war, man. And on his head was many crowns. So before war, before peace could happen, war got to happen. That's an evil time. You know, have some Christians that say, well, it's all right when he do it, but people ain't supposed to do it. But what the Lord said, with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee will I break in pieces the nations. So he had, guess what? He has uh, men, all right? He has a delayed uh, army on the earth, like outside of his army in the heavens, which they was in the in the end, like we all on the same team. But he uses men to bring forth judgment, just like uh, uh, Elijah, Elisha, all right? Moses, David, Solomon, all you know, these men brought forth judgment. Samson slew a thousand men with the uh with a uh, jawbone. With a jawbone, man. And then ask the Lord to take me out one more time. Yeah. You, you know, put the power on me one more time. <laughs> you know, he died with them. Yeah. Hey, even with Ahab, I, you know, you know what the spirits on the left hand side, on the right hand side, with the councils in the heavens. The Lord said, who will go down? To be a lion spirit. Yeah, so the lion spirit came in the midst of them. He said, I will be a lion spirit in the midst of all his prophets so he can die and with Mark Hill. No. That was the evil. He died in that war, right? But, but that encompasses his will. Yep. You know? That's all I got. You want on the AMP now? Did you finish, you finish that uh, article? Oh, so like it. There's some more. There's some more. It said, um, back in this article, it said God's purpose is to bring us to spiritual uh, maturity. That's it. Our experiences may seem bright or dark, peaceful or disastrous, but God's promise to craft them all together, even adversity, affliction, and evil for our ultimate benefit. That's it. Like gold. He will make men more precious than a fine gold. Gold is, you know, it's muddy, you know, it's a, it's a nasty, Disgusting look right before it be thrown into that fire. So you look at us, you know, whether we the left, we've been thrown in that fire, man. So we be made in his image. That's why the Lord said, those that do to the end, the things shall be saved. So we gotta go through what tribulation, 
by all the time. You know? Yeah. So you can read that in the AMP and I'll get the last poem and piece up here in Job. Alright. This Isaiah 45 and 7 and AMP. It said the one forming light and creating darkness, causing peace and creating that did disaster for life. I am the Lord who does all these things. So now like I say, no matter how you how you want to slice it, see, you don't say evil. You say, you know, they want to read the other translations because they're more uh, euphemized. But man, listen, it's, the same, it's, it's the same thing, bro. You know, but it's like when you think about uh, a hurricane, uh, like you just had Hurricane uh, Francis or whatever. Like you had Hurricane Katrina. The Lord authorized, the Lord brought that evil uh, uh, time through, you know, for those uh, people down there in the Gulf. You know, you think about uh, what happened to the people in Haiti, you know. Yeah. These are the Lord's people, yeah. okay? And, and, and even still, too, uh, you know, when he finished chastening us and, and, and getting us in order, the fullness of his wrath, he said he's reserved for all. Uh, for Esau, man. This uh Sirach 11 and 14, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean, this says it all. That's life in itself right there, man. You got homeless people, you got rich people, people prospering, and people go through adversity, right? All of it come of the Lord because he ruled in the kingdom of man, you know? Yo, you got to this uh, two, two, is two more uh, chapters and verses. Well, two more uh, you know, chapters and verses out of the book of Job. It's Job 21 and 30, which is what I was quoting. Uh, that the wicked, I'm going I'm to read 29. Have you not asked them to go by the way? And do ye not know their tokens? Those that go by the way are talking about the prophets. All right? So just as we was reading this article from gotquestions.org we got answers we got answers via Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah Bashim we got answers <laughs> by Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah Bashim and Yahweh Shah Bashim right that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath okay so that's what the purpose of the Lord to say why would he create Wicked people. For his purpose. For his purpose in showing the Lord's all about showing his power. Father was his king the form. Yep. So this is uh this is the lot the last one. This is uh Job 34 and starting at 10. Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from the most high that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. For the work of a man shall he render unto him. So you reap what you sow. And cause every man to find according to his ways. Yea, surely the Most High will not do wickedly, neither will the Almighty pervert judgment. Okay? So he's going to establish uh, justice and judgment in the earth. All right? And evil times are authorized and evil times are uh, executed, all right, uh, for the Most High's uh, good will and pleasure at the end of the day. And his good will and pleasure is to do justice, right? He's a balanced power. So with that, Lord will, he will edify, giving all praises and glory again to Yahweh, 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 Rise as we have destroyed confusion. Shalom. Shalom. Let me get. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute.